That's no the missing for Mary. Watch it now. Shut up, mate. Arthur. Where is Arthur. it? Where is she? Is? Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. What did they want? Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, then. Nah, don't you have a What's now the we're old gonna go. patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, Just like Arthur said. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. It's one of you going to offer. I didn't think it was in first person. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't think it would put me in first person. Great. Wow. That's already so one what failure. Do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll this is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You little simp boy in the offer. 
can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Just... Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. I and am no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. She's like an abusive dumbo, don't you? This way. He's gonna end up doing something there, like turning around. Oh, Arthur, oh, why are you no in. I'm actually surprised you haven't walked around. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Down the other way, but I think so, yep. Yeah. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! You won't even be able to say that like, when you came would just be a fucking fate. But he's heading across the road. No. Nope. You say you're gonna front. wipe the smirk off someone's fate. Uh, face. Like you I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Watch your step. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was and mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've used to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. 
probably killed someone. Oh. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Have to steal the horse. Hey, I've got 20 more stamina. Fuck you now. That's all I probably can. You stop right now. I think this is great. Just kidnapping a dom for selling something. Oh. Right, so what do I do now? Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Uh. But I ain't gonna be fine off with Dom. There we go. I got it for free. Right. I think I. Yeah. I'll go and make my way back. Find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Yeah, why not? Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Oh, it's I'm just curious on what, on what life. it I can't is. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've I'm also just you. trying to see if Don't I can get any more morale. You're an idiot. Stuff. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so. 
Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> Sort of beautiful. Okay, yeah. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Come on, I can just exit it straight away, what's the point? Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. I'm gonna mute my mic right the now. Greatest assembler of entertainment See what this is. Since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just start with that. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. This is the best. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift Bring that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to go up to 20 minutes. I don't want it to be short, so... I can't wear right at bar. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the San Denis town. Carpet baggers, coal miners, and mountain folk. Loosen them stirrups and let off that yoke. Pretty young things say, Come with me. I'm a mule chip. I just came out around you girl as well. Whoa. 
Whoa, 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 that needs to come down off the fucking hell. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You, it? you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure, if you want. I reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> 20 minutes, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Man, Mary, if I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time, it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now, and don't look back. I want to more than anything. I want to, but I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Twenty-two minute gun, come on. <laughs> 